It's, it's, a, it's a, pri a proud moment to represent your country, to represent your continent, um, and uh, just share each other's like, passion for the game. Are you going to be okay with second place this year? What do you call it? <laughs> You want to hit some shots? Well, by the way, your Suzanne's scoring average was actually one stroke better per round last year than it was the year she won five times. So it was just a tough year with uh, a lot of people playing pretty good golf. Catfish, you might need those few shots tomorrow, by the way. I would need what? You might need a few shots. <laughs> Questions? Anything you're wondering? Okay. Fire away. Throw out a few questions. We got a mic here, so if we need it, we can. Yeah, anybody has a question, we'll step up to the mic. No questions? Any questions? Fine. Any questions? Everybody's afraid. She doesn't mind. What's your goal this year? Oh, here you go. My goal this year? Goal this year. To make it through December. Okay. <laughs> Healthy? Healthy. <laughs> No, it's, uh, I mean, I have a lot of goals, but obviously uh, trying to take one more step and see if I can uh, win a few tournaments and uh, hope that I can take care of a lot of other stuff that's, uh, that we're all judged upon uh, every week. So uh, uh, obviously trying to get that number one spot is a dream and uh, I ain't going to keep up if I'm there. So uh, that's probably the biggest goal. Thanks. Any other questions right now? We'll open up it again at the end. This will probably be the this will probably be the worst win to practice in. You're playing a fade.
it's still very important to have the feel aspect in it, so you don't get kind of too kind of um, you don't get in your own way to be honest. Too lost in the yeah. I know you're very into physical fitness. Tell us a little bit about how you work in the physical aspect with uh, the technical part of it. No, I was just glad I got out of bed this morning because my trainer got over, got over from Norway two days ago and I thought I was going to get really, I was really sore this morning, but I actually wasn't, so maybe that's a good sign. Um, this is kind of my year to build, uh, build a good base. Um, one of my other goals for the year is actually to maintain and actually try and increase the strength and the endurance throughout this season. It's always easy once you start play tournaments that it kind of, you lack the hours in the gym. And uh, for me, it's like if I feel good, I usually play well. If I feel strong, if I feel like I've been putting my effort into the gym, I usually also swing well. It kind of goes hand in hand with the technical stuff, I think. And um, so I'm going to try and put more breaks into the season, uh, give myself some uh, solid periods where I can actually get the, the mass in, like get the strength, get the hours, and uh, try to look after the body a little bit. How much time do you spend on cardio versus weights? Well, actually, right now I'm in this uh, nightmare uh, cardio program. It's, uh, it's it's a killer, but uh, it's actually fun when you get past a certain level, when you actually feel like you're enjoying an hour of running instead of uh, feeling like you're gonna have a heart attack. But uh, it's it's just depends what you're trying to achieve. I mean, for me, as much as we travel, I think it's important to be in decent shape to be able to recover. Um, uh, with all the jet lags we have, the body obviously adjusts a lot easier and hopefully you can stay stay out of like colds and flus and just making sure you kind of feed the body what it needs. Um, how about nutrition? How, how dialed are you on your nutrition? I'm, uh, I mean, I, I, I'm not going to say uh, I'm not worried about it, like I don't think about it, but I think it's, I, I think the best diet is a little bit of everything. I don't think you need to be very body needs a little bit of everything, it needs a little bit of sugar, it needs a little bit of fat, like protein, carbs, whatever, but uh, 